Hi again, this is Ali from Rice State University, and I'm interviewing Dr. Hamill from University of Michigan and Albert. Sir, how do you think about the meeting today? Uh, I thought it was really inspirational. It was um, a meeting um, primarily focused on fellows in training that were interested in cardiovascular aging and geriatric cardiology, which is a, a growing field right now, and it was um, really great to see um, all the um, sort of young rising stars in the field get together to talk about some of their ideas for how to move things forward. And I wanted to ask you the one question in terms of take-home points that fellows who couldn't attend this session that you would give. Well, the um, number of older adults is increasing dramatically over the course of everyone's career. Uh, and this session was a wonderful session for people to come together to talk about process of care towards polypharmacy, towards other elements that are very germane to our older patients, and talking about new ways that we can all work together to transform and improve caregiving for this population. Oh, I think um, the biggest things I learned is that there's lots of people who are equally interested, lots of resources to help us pursue our goals and interests, and um, yeah, lots of multitude of opportunities that I didn't realize were actually possible before this lecture. Great session, fantastic uh, outcomes, and it was uh, organizing a work a task force group for the geriatric cardiology fellows, the first time in history that it's ever happened, so that's uh, just a fantastic historic opportunity. What do you think constitutes uh, a good cardiology physician for the geriatric population? I think a geriatric cardiologist, number one, needs to be invested in treating patients who are of advanced age. But secondly, um, looking to do so in such a way as to use evidence-based medicine for guiding therapies, as well as patient, uh, taking into account patient preferences. So I would say that the single most important point that I would make is that there's tremendous opportunity in geriatric cardiology for involvement in education, in research, and uh, various other ways. And for those who are interested, you can uh, go to our website, which is uh, available on uh, cardiosource.org. I think the, the take-home point that I had is that the opportunities in geriatric cardiology are vast. And in really, as, as a fellow, we have, we have a lot of opportunities to take advantage of these, both in the research and also in public policy. That's wonderful, both research and policy. That's great. So if you want to check out more videos, please go to www.youtube.com backslash fits on the go.